Hi, my name is Ron Johnson, and today's topic via Zoom and virtual is going to discuss gaining clarity. How many of us right now are stuck in a place or a situation where we wish we could be different, wish we knew what to do, wish we knew how to do it, and wish we knew where to go? I'm quite sure all of us suffer from some kind of element of wish we can control, control the future, obviously, wish we can control the past, and wish we knew the trajectory of where we're path we're choosing right now is the correct path. But most of the time, we don't know. I was that person. When it's my early 20s, I went through life not understanding what to do, not how to do it, and what direction is the best. Now, in my 20s, I was a typical guy. Uh, you know, I went out partying in the club on the weekends. I had a full-time career. You know, I was always looking to, let's say, be better. Let's say, knew what to do. And let's say, how to feel the struggles that I'm feeling. The struggles were lack of confidence. The struggles were lack of self-esteem. The struggles were, I want all these things that I see other people have, and I want them to, and why can't I have them? One thing I realized is I thought if I was lucky, and that's not true. The, the satisfaction for myself was when I was able to finally wake up, get out of that, get out of that frustration, get out of that zone. And the first thing that came to gaining clarity was the, was the fact I knew now which I didn't know then, was that the change starts within. The change comes from myself, understanding that I can do anything I want in this life. When I was in my 20s and early 30s, I was lost. I was constantly searching for that outside of a validation. You know, you get that good looking girl, or you get that great job, or you get that new career, or you get a promotion, you get more money, more money to buy more clothes, more clothes to satisfy all these things you wanted. You want the new car. And in the end, all these wants only created more suffering for myself because I had no clarity. Let me tell you what I did to gain clarity. What I did to gain clarity was I started realizing I'm at a point, and I never forget this, it had to have happened in August 2018, when I was at a place where I was at my lowest. I'll never forget this night. I went home after a hard day of work, and I was to a point in a kind of a a difficult relationship. Um, I was lying in this case, doing different things, and wasn't being authentic to myself. What happens at night, I broke down crying. And that's what I mean when I felt like I was being broke. That day, that night, I broke down crying because I didn't know what I was going to do or how I was going to do it, but I wanted a change. And that was the key. Wanting a change and to be different. The first step to, to, to a change was try something new, right? First thing I did is download a couple of audibles. First one was John Maxwell, and it was um, Secrets. I think it was The Secrets of Gaining a Better Life or The Secrets of uh, How Successful People Live or something like that. And it was the first audible I listened to, and it changed my life forever. In that case, listening to that audible, what really happened was a transition from knowing I can change within. See, all these motivational books and audibles and whatever it may be, they're all the same. The only difference is, is that how you apply the techniques expressed in that book or the audible what makes all the difference. I start applying those techniques. Then how I gained clarity was I knew the change from reading the first, second, third, fourth book, and obviously for several audibles, that change had to start within. See, out of things like Having a higher social media account means that if I had more followers, I felt more validated. I had more money in the bank, I felt more validated. I had a nice car, I felt more validated. I was always giving power to these outside wants and needs, but at the end of the day, the needs and wants were within me already. It's the fact I gave them power. There's a three-step simple rule to gaining clarity. First, whatever you're doing, is it something that you want to do? Is it helping anybody? Second rule to gain clarity is, what do you really, really want? Let's break it down. First is you probably want 10 different things. When you go from 10 different things, okay, good. After 10 different things, break down by five. Oh, great, you got five different things, I break it down by three. Okay, after three, break it down by to one. When you find that one thing that you really, really want, you're able to focus all the energy in that one thing because now you believe you can have that one thing. You believe you can do it. Because now you have one thing of focus. We have 10 or 15 different things to focus on. There's no way you can be clear because you don't know what you're doing. But we have that one thing to focus on. Everything around you seems to fall in line, be it relationships, career, education, finances. Everything seems to work out. 
And for me, it did. Once again, the clarity of what I really want to do, which is become a life coach. That's why I'm here today. And discuss my, actually, my mentor coach discussing my journey and going, gaining clarity. And it all starts within was my first step. I joined IPEC. IPEC was a life coaching school that I gained a lot of clarity of that. All these outside wants, desires, and needs were only creating more suffering and more desires and wants. And it's like a, a drill, but it's going to go over and over again, hoping to eventually get to the end. Or I use some uh, some instances with some of my clients was the carrot the carrot and the donkey. The carrot is in front of the donkey. The donkey's running faster, but he's not getting there. At the care, if the donkey just stood still, I bet he'll find the carrot a lot faster. So that's the second rule: is breaking all those wants and desires away, and filling what you feel the best need for your purpose and fulfillment in life. The third most important thing is trust the process. If you do ever get ready to do something, we always want to do it now. I gave my clients this perfect example the other day. I said, if you want to build a two-story house out of bricks, how many bricks on a two-story house? Of course, they didn't, they didn't know exactly how many because it's a lot of bricks. But I say, you know what? Two-story house starts with one brick. It goes one brick to two bricks to three bricks, four, five, six, before you know it, you have a two-story house. But the process is in that one brick to two to three to four, and obviously foregoing the whole process before you know you have a two-story house. So apply that one brick method in your life. There's something you really want, and we're getting clarity on what you really want. Figure out what you're gonna do, how you're gonna do it. If there's 10 different things you want, break it down to one. And the fourth more important thing, trust the process, because you will get there. It may not be where you are today, but in time, you'll get there. I hope you guys learned something more about gaining clarity, because you can gain clarity anytime you want to gain clarity. And of course, if you guys are feeling stuck, you're at a point where you're embarrassed and you need help, I'm here to help you gaining clarity on what you really want and being the best, or sorry, living the best life you can now, not in the future, not waiting for when I get this or I should be doing that. When this happens, I'll be better. You can start better today.